Sup, my dudes. What what is this? What is this? Fuck is that noise? Well, anyhow, guys, welcome everyone to Warrior Randomizer. No, I'm so okay. I I, I uh, named the title as you can see an update on Metroid Construction, my Metroid Construction series, right? So if you guys remember, I did a couple videos. I think three or four, but uh, uh, other than that, I also played many hacks from Metroid Construction, by the way. Shout out to the Metroid Construction uh, community. Probably one of my best Metroid community experience here. Um, so uh, what I what I realized is that, of course, 90% of the hacks all just too long, like <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean for your own enjoyment it might be okay uh, as in like you want to play something for a couple days so kind of like a, a new Metroid game type of feel okay but like for a series you want to do something like Mario Maker 2 levels type of thing uh, it's a bit too long so sometimes you just have an hour for an episode just for one hack right so it's a bit too much but i realized there is a different version kind of uh for hacks so to say quote unquote hacks since i think super metric randomizer first released as a hack uh, then it's, it has become this huge thing with this website where you can modify all your whatever you want and if you guys have watched me on my streams um you have seen that uh, I've been playing a lot of randomizer lately with um, as you can see skills preset speedrunner you can change it areas randomized one of my favorite I love when areas are randomized it feels so cool and uh, boss is randomized and you can ch uh, change your progression speed major split whatever and you have the customizer now we're coming to my favorite part where you can use custom sprites which is really amazing I'm still waiting for a solid snake sprite or something or at least zero suit samus I, I want to see I want to have zero suit samus or like all metro games uh, uh, the sprites of all metro games that would be so awesome like let's say even Nestroid sprites, you know what I mean? Uh, Nestroid sprites, Metroid 2, Me M Metroid Zero Mission, Fusion Suit, the Zero Suit. Uh, I would re really love to see those sprites be here. Because I think those are currently the most important ones. And should be in the game. I saw uh, Metaquarius use the Fusion Suit in his... X Fusion hack, which is a complete revamp of the Super Metroid engine, but like Fusion in the Super Metroid engine, whatever, that's a thing for a different time. But uh, as you can see, you have here, you have options like, you know, color preferences. It also randomizes colors, which makes the whole experience much better as it feels like you know, uh, color, tile colors have changed. So it's not always the same, you know, boring enemies. But um, uh, you have a little bit of a variety of colors which you can randomize, uh, and of course you can randomize Samus itself herself, uh, and all these sprites. By the way, you can randomize beams. That's that's another a new experience you have. Uh, levels, bosses, bosses feel a little bit more interesting. Like you know, if you have Green Ridley, you know, it's just my favorite. I'm just saying. And you have remo Remove Fanfare, which you might remember from Project Base. Um, it just makes a click and you got the fa um, item, press A again and it goes. You don't have to wait for a fanfare for like 3 seconds or 4 seconds. Then you have uh, Start Spinning in Midair. As you guys rem remember from Zero Mission and such. Uh, let Samus keep her momentum, which is awesome by the way. You can, uh, instead of, you know, when you s sprint, jump and land instead of uh, letting you wait a pixel or something like you get a knockback you 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 just keep the momentum flowing go 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 right a solid doors elevator transition is really cool it makes uh, the experience much more faster um, especially if you're a speedrunner like me and a couple other fellas it's a it's a nice tool and the save the animals surprise that's that's probably one of my most favorite one <laughs> as um, 
If you always wanted to have something special at the end... Oh, sorry, I just went a bit too far. Uh, at the end of uh, After Mother Brain, right? That's the thing you go. So the save animals room is a randomly generated room that uh, can suddenly, I don't know, throw you again at Fantoon. So you have to fi fight Fantoon again. Or it might actually uh, pull you to Mother Brain's room, whatever it is, right? It's a really fun to experiment, exper experiment with. Uh, uh, I'm definitely uh, suggesting that. Okay, so let's get to the actual thing. Now, the other, other I, I don't know about, I haven't played with the other settings, so, you know, hold on, as you guys can see, hold on. Custom pro what? Okay, I, I didn't see this. He's annoying. Used to it, piece of cake, I'm scared. Oh, you can change their difficulty or something, like, let me see what it says. Logic Band of Princess, the ones where you find the boss difficult or Kylie where to give her. Oh, okay, I, I can't get in the details, but oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, that's awesome. X-ray, I don't like spot or the full air. Hard rooms, hard rooms. Oh, that's a... Oh, there's a bunch of stuff you can do here, and I really love that, but we won't get into this one. Although I have to say, you, for the um, idea I have, which I will get in a bit, I guess I will, ha I will have to get into this part too, as it seems like it's somehow connected. But anyhow, anyhow you, what you type is varia.run, or the whole, you know, website, link, whatever. But if you just type varia.run, I think that was the old thing, it directly brings you into this website. What I want to do, as I said with the uh, Metroid construction episode, I thought, um, kind of like a Mario Maker levels, I thought you guys could actually submit me stuff, right? Uh, that's why we have the Plandomizer here. Also, I'm so dumb. Like, really sorry, I could have done a F11 so you guys ha don't have to watch. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, I'll put my face away. Uh, as you can see, you can um, do those thing that it does random. You can do it yourself. You know, like item placements. Let's see, uh, randomize super metroid rooms. From oh, okay, that's when when you have one to update it. Don't forget that. And um, I'm sorry, someone is calling. What the hell? Okay, uh, what, what do we have here? Randomize the remaining items. You can choose select items. If I remember correctly, I haven't done much with it. I'm really a noob here. But let's say you can... Is it because I'm on full screen mode that it doesn't show hints? I thought it does show hints. That's really weird. What the hell? Hold on. Okay, there we go. I was looking for this. All right. Okay, welcome to Wario Planner and uh, Generator. There we go. Uh, you can uh, select the items, uh, location, etc. You can make it uh, much more harder for me, or you can be forgiving. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> and since you can randomize the areas, uh, it, it, it'll, I'll leave it up to your imagination. Uh, what do you want me to go through? If you want me to do hell runs, if you want me to use advanced techniques, etc. Um, I, I'll play anything, okay? Just make it um, possible to beat, alright? That's all I want. And um, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna give a 15 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes time to if I... If I'm like wasting... Too much time in finding something or like uh i'm, I'm like going rep repetitive and i'm f i'm figuring uh th this hack was kind of done so that you can't actually proceed etc if i if i start to realize that i'm gonna stop in 15 or 30 minutes and hop into the next immediately i will always um name your as i mean mention your names whenever uh, I, I play one 
I'll be like, uh, this was done by Dennis, or I don't know, this one does, this, this hack was done by Salix, and it's, it's called Hell Run or something, whatever. So, uh, as you can see here, you can mix area portals and boss portals, which, again, as you might, might have seen, boss randomizer there. Um, you can select which boss should pop up in which area. So let's say Kraid's Lair will have Ridley or some, something. But really cool stuff you can do here. Uh, yeah. I think that's so much for that. Oh yeah, you can, you can go further. You have a whole tour, by the way. You have a tutorial here, so... Don't um, go around like, oh, what, what do I have to do, what's, etc. Like, there is, there is a tutorial, like, it explains it thoroughly. And, uh, if, let's go to the presets, by the way. This is something I just recently um, fi uh, saw. I thought you'd do all in the plandomizer, but apparently you can also change, you know, boss difficulties, etc. You can make Ridley really easy, or, like, create really hard, which... I'm curious how that would work. That's actually actually be fun. Uh, you could make Kraid like the really hard boss and really be the little bitch here. Okay. Uh, all right. What else do we have? Let's see. Tracker. Just want to see if it's just. I just want to see if I can give you guys different options other than. Uh, Plandomizers presets. Oh, also the customizer. Don't for please. Don't forget the uh, customizer. Oh. God. Internet. Yeah. Hello, guys. How was your day, by the way? Uh, hello. Let's have a, a private conversation here. Oh, okay. It's back. All right. So, tracker. Where's the track? So. What did I do? Okay. Apparently there are some stuff can change here too. I don't know what these are actually. I'm sorry, but all I know is like probably randomizer, customizer, randomizer, and presets right now. But uh, anyhow, so you have these four or five options, whatever you can play around with. Uh, just please don't do um, randomizer and then submit to Snake. It's it's just really lazy, you know, I can do that myself and I'm doing it a lot. So, you know, I want something you guys actually work on and uh, be like, I want you I want you to play it. And uh, the reason I'm doing these is because these are m much easier to finish. Like I said, some can be even like finished in 40 minutes, one hour if you do it. So um depends on how you make the progression if the progression is like really hard it'll take longer but but just as like any super metroid runs we had i think the max i had even with the hardest was like two hours or something so it's still you know in a stream it's just manageable to do um but uh yeah so that's this also what i wanted to say before about customizer please guys Customize your shit. Like, please add some new uh, sprites. Say, I'm, I want uh, sprites ad added to that. You can turn off colors, randomizer, whatever. But um, I just want to have different experiences. Like, I, I don't want to always have the same uh, character. So yeah, make it a little bit juicy. Like, you could you could use do, do different color palettes. I don't care. Like, use do use the different color palettes, but. Just um, uh, customize it so it's, it's a bit more fun to watch, a bit more interesting. So you can uh, submit those on my channel, my uh, channel's Discord, or if you have a link on your comments below, I guess. But I, I would rather have you join my Discord and submit, submit it to me under the uh, suggestions. Let me actually see. If we are at, yes, we are at Lancer's Haven. There you go. As you can see here in suggestions, I want you guys to submit me those patches. You can do IPS patches, by the way. I don't share ROMs in my thing, but if you PM me them, I don't care. Well, whatever. But like, uh, you can do, you can make, uh, turn them into IPS patches so I can use them and patch them and share them even. 
uh, with other dudes, if I'm like, oh, that was a really awesome scene. Uh, IPS patches are mostly done with a uh, lunar IPS or BPS. There are different uh, patch alternative, but I'm gonna show you this one. Lunar IPS. It's really easy to set up, as you can see, apply IPS patch. You just need a basic ROM and uh, uh, you um, create IPS patch. Actually, let me, hold on, let me actually show you guys. I have lunar, oh my God, PC. This is cool, right? This is cool watching such an episode. You're like, Snake, why are you not just cutting it? I don't have time, okay. So let's say you have to create uh, IPS patch, right? So, uh, let me go to Super... Met Randomized rooms, right? ROMs. Like this on custom win <laughs> Windows 95 cursor, which we did uh, a couple days ago. And I'm like, bam, I want that. Uh, select new modify file to use. Uh... Actually, that's fun. I think I think I didn't use the correct. Oh my god! Oh my god! Great apps. Unmodified. Sorry. First, you need the original unmodified, uh, which is this Super Metroid, and then the new modified one, which which would be the randomizer, right? The main cursor. Bam! That's it. Save IPS patch successfully. There. And you can upload it uh, somewhere. Give me the link. I, I can grab. And you can share those on my channel without a problem. IPS patches are not the original ROM, so there's no problem with whatever issues we could face with Nintendo etc. So um, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's so much for uh, what I wanted to do with the Metric Construction series. I will still play hacks. Don't don't get me wrong. That doesn't mean I gave up on hacks. No, I'm still gonna play hacks. But I think the, since those are gonna be really long hacks, I'm gonna uh, cut them into episodes instead. But I want something I can use for uh, random levels episodes where I can have like two or three levels per episode, right? For you guys to watch, but and and uh, long hacks aren't really suitable for that because, like I said, some 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 need like ten, some have ten hours completion, and like you gotta have to yeah, split them into episodes. So um, yeah, but uh, anyhow, guys, that was so much for for this for my Metroid construction. So they're saying met my Metroid construction series because. As I mentioned, uh, I see Metroid Construction like the perfect example of how a Metroid Maker type of community would have looked like, right? So uh, I'm seeing this Metroid Construction as Metroid Maker, quote unquote, right? Uh, since there is none in in real, so I'm using that. But obviously, the name is uh, owned by the community itself, Metroid Construction. So I'm not claiming it, but it's just as a series. Uh, that's what I put it on, you know, brackets. It's not, it's not obviously not mine, but yeah. But anyhow, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, leave a like. And that's, that was for so much for the uh, randomizer, plandomizer. Please submit me your hacks. Uh, and I guess I'll see you on the next video. See you.